Glenn, thank you for joining me today. Congratulations on Beacon 23. Tell us a little bit about it. Thank you. Well, you know, it's a show starring Lena Headey and Stefan James in which they are, um, they find themselves trapped together in a lighthouse, a space station on the edge of the galaxy. So, you know, I was excited about signing on to this show because it's it's you know based on a book by Hugh Howey who I'm a fan of and um it was created by Zach Penn um screenwriter and it, I think the audience will be very surprised it's a very different kind of of character drama set in space so it's a, it's a, it's an exciting setting but it's really about these characters you know going through their their journeys with each other their pain you know their their trust issues all of that so i i think it's a it's a really surprising mix and uh hopefully the audience will love it as much as we loved making it yeah it was it was uh very intriguing to me because of the fact that it's just these two characters at the edge of space so a lot of what audiences are gonna need to take from is from maybe gentle notes from the characters themselves rather than the setting it's so character driven as you just mentioned uh, what was what was the process to in making sure that both of these characters have good chemistry to make that work? Well, to be honest, they did have the good chemistry, you know, and they're both tremendous actors. So we just ended up kind of catching up to their performances. You know, Lena's such a fantastic actor that we just ended up, you know, sort of watching their performances, uh, talking about it, you know, generating more story, getting the layers you know, really understanding what was driving those the, their agendas and their pain and their backstory and what they wanted. So it was it was a, a very collaborative, you know, process, very creative. It was just really exciting to work with both of them. You have the great foundations of the stories where, where these this uh, series is pulled. What are some of the keys into making sure that you have the correct pacing to keep audiences uh, intrigued, especially when you're when you're so focused on just these two characters really alone in space? Oh, that's great. That's a good question. I think I think we have to kind of, you know, every episode is um pulls back a different layer of of scar tissue if you will like we, we you know we learn as as they are just trying to survive and whatever you know is happening that week we're also learning how you know more about them in the past and why that's affecting them and it's both it's there's a push pull so there was always just you know uh, a, a complexity that gave us a lot of different types of story, a lot of different types of scenes, you know, I felt. So, so by, you know, examining different layers of them, we were able to keep the show fresh. I think it wasn't just about, yes, there's a lot of mystery and yes, there's a lot of action or whatever, but we never settle into one thing, you know, we really wanted to make it as, as emotionally complex as possible. So that, that way the audience goes on the same journey that the characters do. Just a quick last question. How do you set up the parameters of the rules of space travel, especially I'm always intrigued by sci-fi series to where, where you, where you set that up as far as um, what, what the future of space travel could look like. Well, there was there was a there was a lot of that in Hugh Howey's original novel, and I think Zach took a lot of that from there. So we were very consistent about that, you know, and we had very specific rules about how the beacon works, how the beacons communicate with each other, how the space travel, all of that, and so so that was just really uh, there was a lot of work done up front based on the novel and Zach had laid out that foundation. And then we just sort of built on that. We were very careful not to, um, you know, change the rules just to make the story better. We said, no, these are the rules. We have to follow the rules. And that way it feels real. Mm -hmm. It feels grounded, you know, because it's funny to say it feels grounded in space, but I think it does. 
Glenn, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on the series. And I hope to talk Great, to you thank again. You. Thank you. Thank you.